Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's video is going to be a follow up to my original export to Word video where I showed you how to export a report from Access into Word, but we didn't cover how to export the formatting, the cool stuff, pictures and lines and things of that nature. So we're going to talk about that in today's class. Today's question comes from Sammy in Windsor Locks, Connecticut. He's one of my good friends and moderators on the website. He posted this in the forums. He says, I have a nicely formatted report with boxes, etc. Is there a way to export this report to Word and maintain formatting? When I export it now, I lose most of the formatting. Well, Sammy, you can't do it directly from Access, but with a two-step process, we can maintain the formatting in your report. What we're gonna do is we're gonna export it as a PDF, then we're gonna import the PDF into Word. Now, in my original export to Word video, I showed you how to export a simple report to a Word document directly from Access. But you don't get any of the formatting. It just exports it as an RTF file, a rich text file. And uh, you don't get any lines or pictures or any of that stuff. In the extended cut, I showed you how to export something by directly controlling the Word document. But that, that's okay, it's a little more difficult. But today I'm gonna to show you a nice easy trick using converting it to PDF as an intermediary step. I'm gonna use my invoicing database to export an invoice. And more specifically, I'm gonna use the database that I just built last week which was my vertical lines database where I show you how to put these vertical lines right in there, right? Okay, because you know it, it just adds more stuff to export. We're gonna throw a picture down here and everything. So if you haven't watched any of these videos, you'll find them in the links section down below under prerequisites. Go watch those first and then come on back. All right, so I'm gonna go grab a copy of the vertical lines database. It's right here. Uh, I'm a gold member on my own website. If you're not a gold member, then you'll have to just build this yourself, following along with the videos, of course. Okay, in my database, I got a customer form. The customers can have orders, and each order can be printed out as an invoice. And this is what we did in the extended cut. We can see the lines there. Ooh, ah. Uh. Let's go ahead real quick and also throw a picture on that invoice. Let's say you got a, a company logo or something, right? Let's put it, uh, I'll put it down here on the bottom. Let's stick it in, uh, let's stick it in the report footer. Like right under here. I'm just gonna go grab a screen grab of a picture. And we'll paste it in here. And of course, it's none other than the man himself, Jean-Luc Picard. All right, we'll stick it right there. All right, save it. Let's close it. Let's take a look at what we got now. All right, looks pretty good, right? Pay no attention to the quality here in the, in the print preview. Now, if I save this to a Word document directly, okay, if I come over here and go export the Word, all right, see, notice it's coming out as an RTF file. All right, we'll open it when we're done. We'll hit OK. Uh, the file already exists because I ran through this a minute ago. Just say yes to replace it. And here it comes over here. Let me slide this over so you can see it. And it's, it's, it's OK. It's not bad. But we're not getting any of our lines. We're not getting Mr. Picard down here in the bottom, right? OK, because when you export an RTF file, it's only text. Yeah, it saves some things like bolding and fonts and font sizes and stuff, but you're not getting any of the formatting as far as the lines and stuff are concerned. Okay, so we have to go about this another way. And the way we can do this is to use an intermediate step, an intermediary, right? So we're going to convert this to a PDF file first. Now, I've got several other videos on converting to PDF. I'll put links to those down below. But it's real simple. Pick where you want it to go. I'll put it in my drive and I'm going to export it as a PDF file, PDF file. All right, minimum size is usually good, unless you're sending it to a book printer or something and you need high quality. Hit publish. You'll get the export steps up here. I'm just gonna close that. Now it may load for you automatically in your PDF viewer. I have that turned off, so let me go find it. Here's my My Drive folder. There's my invoice R PDF. Let's open that up. And there we go, there's the PDF file. Now that looks a lot closer to the original report. And there's Mr. Picard, All right? Let me slide it down so you can see it, there it is. Okay, now here's the key. We're now gonna take this PDF and open this in Microsoft Word. 
So I'm just going to load up Word. That's the easiest thing. Find it on your taskbar. Load it up. Give it a second. Come on. All right. And the Microsoft Word opens up. Let's go down here to open. And then browse. And then I'll go to my My Drive folder and open up the PDF right from here. Hit open. Now it's going to open it in protected view. That's okay. Just hit enable editing. And now you're in edit mode. So you can edit this guy. Close up the ribbon there. And as you can see, it's a lot closer to the actual document. Word does a pretty good job of importing PDF files. Better than Access does at writing Word documents. Okay? Now, it's not perfect. In fact, it has a problem with page footers. Notice how this page footer got pushed to the next line over here. Right? And you can fix that. What I like to do is turn the paragraph markers on. And then come down here and we can just do this and put a couple lines in there like that. All right? There's all kinds of stuff you can do. All right? But this is a pretty close editable version of your report. Now, there are some tools that I've found that do an even better job if you you, know, you want to closely match the formatting that you've got. Um, but it involves, again, another step. In fact, Adobe, the makers of Adobe Acrobat, the PDF people, have an online converter. There it is. I'll put a link to it down below where you can just drop a PDF file here and it will convert it to Word. All right, so I'll slide this over here. I'll find my PDF file right there. Let me make this so I can see them side by side, right? Click, drag, drop. Give it a second. It'll make the conversion for you. And there it is. Now you can download that file, All right? Open her up. Again, enable editing, and there you go. And you can see this one is even a lot closer to the original. Notice how it didn't mess up the footer there. All right, so if you don't mind taking that extra step to use an online converter, then Adobe's got one right on their website. There's also another one that I tried called Small PDF. Does this, it does the same thing. And again, I'll put links to these down below. And no, I don't make any money off of them. I just I, I tried them myself. I like them. I'm referring you to them. Now, if you want to use some other options, um, if you have the full Adobe Acrobat Professional, which is paid software, you can automate the conversion process using VBA because Acrobat Pro comes with a com add-in that you can then use your VBA commands to control it. I don't have it. I've never used it. I've read a lot of good things about it online, but I've never personally had a need for it, so I, I don't have any experience with it. But you can automate pretty much anything you can do with a PDF with Acrobat Pro. There are some third-party command line utilities. I downloaded and played with a couple of them, but I wasn't very happy with them. I was looking for something that was just a simple command line utility that I can issue a command that says, hey, convert this PDF to a doc file. I tried a couple of them. They were okay, but they weren't great. But there's, there's tons of them out there. So I'm sure if you take the time and do some research, you can probably find a good one. Then you can automate that from Access if you know how to program it, right? Right in your VBA, you just save the PDF, run the, the utility to convert it to a doc file, and then import it into Word. And finally, there are some other online cloud conversion utilities that you can use an API with to program that as well. You can upload the document to them in the background. They'll convert it, and they'll, you, know, you can download it right back to your system. Again, that requires a lot of programming. I tinkered with it for a few minutes, but it was pretty complicated. And I'm like, it's not worth the effort. So <laughs> I stopped messing with it. But one of them is Cloud Convert. They, can, they have a ton of different conversion utilities online. And uh, if you guys want to see any of this stuff, let me know. If you have a preferred command line utility that you're familiar with, that you work with, that, uh, that works well for you, let me know. And if enough people are interested, I'll make another video. Speaking of automating the process, members in the extended cut, I'll walk you through automating these steps. That's not hard. And I've covered something similar in previous uh, lessons. What we'll do is we'll automate the exporting of the PDF file. Then we'll open Word in the background, load up the PDF file, and then you can go right to town with one click. That's all covered in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And gold members, as you've seen, can download my databases that I build in these tech help videos. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Lots more training available on my website. Check it out. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels. Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members 
get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.